four days ago with 228 players. We're now down to these six. There you see our chip leader, Matt Salzberg from the U.S., the lone amateur at the table. Winner tonight will take home over 400,000 euros and get a coveted entry into the WPT World Championship at the end of the season. Now the Andy's going to start at 2,000. The blinds are 8 and 16,000. First act, Timothy Adams from Canada. And he's going to look down at a jack 10. All right, Timothy with a quick fold. And now it's around to Mosin. He's going to fold his hand. Matt Salzberg, the Hollywood producer, writer of the show Weeds, has a pair of fours, Mike. He's a chip leader, and he's going to pop this. Makes it 35,000 to go. Well, tough German pro, Philip Grissom out around to Theo Jorgensen. Highly respected guy from Denmark. Won this tournament a couple years ago. Looking to take this title for the second time tonight. He's got a huge hand, ace king, and he re-raises. He makes it 85,000 to go. Fabian Quas out. Back on Matt. He's going to make the call with the fours. Vince, I got to ask you. I know you're a little superstitious. And one thing you don't like is the way they turn the flop over here in Europe, where they do it one card at a time. You'd like to see them all at one time. I like one big plunge. If I had my preference, I'd take them all at once. But I don't let the one card at a time bother me while I'm over here. Let's see. First hand, good action. Flop comes up. Jack, Jack, six. Timothy would have hit a jack there. He's a little sickened by that. Well, Theo going to make the continuation bet. But as you can see, Matt quickly calls him. Nice call by Matt Salzberg, the so-called amateur at the table from Hollywood. Here comes the turn card. Well, a 10 comes up. Oh, that just makes Timothy Adams a full house. So he's completely disgusted. <laughs> and Theo's going to slow down with his ace high. And Matt also going to check behind him, going to the river. The three comes off. Nice card for Matt. Got the best hand with Jackson fours. Action on Theo. Yeah, but if he sticks in a big bet, but he does not, he checks. Yeah, he's king. Matt checks behind him, and the Hollywood producer gets greenlit on the very first hand, takes down the pot with the fours. Well, the lone amateur extends his chip lead. What a bunch we have here tonight in Paris at this final table. Well, I don't think I've ever played a final table this tough. Phil is very good. Phil is a guy that's going to pay me off. Mosin, that guy's really good. He's tricky, he's calm. And then there's Matt. He's the only person at the table, I believe, that doesn't play professionally. Timothy plays extremely well. He pulled a sick bluff on me when his nose started bleeding. <laughs> Fabian, he's relentless, just aggression, aggression, aggression. Theo has an aggressive style that is hard to counter. All right, this is going to be a dogfight. Well, a dogfight indeed, but a good one. Really, six international star players in their own countries. Matt Salzburg, as you can see, the chip leader with over 1.9 million. And he's a 3,000. Blinds are 10 and 20. Action on Philip Grissom. Good one. Philip looks down at a King Jack. And he is going to raise. Gets folded around to Timothy Adams. Now, Timothy this time with a pair of fours. How much do you start with, so? Still the same. I don't even know what that is. You didn't look at the chip counts? No, who cares? 775. Timothy Adams has a World Series of Poker bracelet already in his young career. 26 years old, but he's going to fold the fours. And now Mosin also not going to call with Queen 10. You're a professional. Well, Matt Salzberg's got chips. He's in the big blind, got some money in the pot, so he makes the call with the King Five of Spades. That's right. Well, he's a writer. He's from Hollywood. He's creative. He's trying to create something here. Will he do it? Flop comes up, 8, 9, 10. Two hearts. Matt checks, and Philip has an open-in straight draw, as you can see, but doesn't want to get check raised out of the pot, so he checks also. Deuce of Diamonds comes off. Neither player. Matt not hitting, and he's just going to check. Philip, who played the one-drop tournament at the World Series of Poker this year. That was a million-dollar buy-in poker tournament. And this guy's a big gambler, no doubt about it. You also played that. Made the money, didn't you, Mike? I did, actually. It was quite fun.
Oh, look at this. Philip, with just basically nothing, is going to bet. And he is going to win this pot. Well, yeah, Philip, a tough player, won two European poker titles in 2011. Looking to take down a WPT title tonight. They're the beautiful Royal Flush girls enjoying the moment here in Paris. Well, there's nothing like seeing a WPT event live. And when you're here, you can meet the Royal Flush girls, Mike, Kimberly, myself. Let's get back to the table. And right now, Matt Salzberg still having the chip lead with close to 1.9 million action on Fabian. Fabian, poker pro out of Germany. Yeah, Fabian's got a queen jack. Started this final table on the short stack, and he's still there. Fabian Quas. He got in this tournament through a satellite bargain basement, and he's going to raise with the queen jack. Makes it forty thousand to go. But right behind him, Timothy Adams with ace king. Oh, big hand for Timothy here. He's going to three bet it up to eighty-two thousand. Certainly is. Mosin out, and now Matt Salzberg also folding. Philip out as well and round to the big blind. Uh oh, ooh la la. Look at this. Theo Jorgensen with the weapons of mass destruction, the pair of aces, and what a time to get them. The perfect spot to pick up two aces in the big blind. The pot's been raised and re raised in front of Theo. He is loving this. And here comes the four bet. Oh, chips and a plaque flying out there with the aces. 200,000 to bet by Theo. Fabian quickly folds. Oh, Timothy has a big hand, though. Ace King. He's got to be thinking what is going on here. Oh, man. He's getting out extra plaques, extra chips. He's going to re-raise. He makes it 480,000 to go. Back on Theo. I'm all in. And there you go. Oh. I got the nuts. Quick call, but Timothy's not going to like it. He's up against the one hand he doesn't want to be up against. Two aces. Now, Theo Jorgensen doesn't have the chips that Timothy has, so Timothy will still be around if he should not get extremely lucky. But what a position he's in right now. Timothy Adams slips on the banana, <laughs> and Theo Jorgensen from Denmark in great place. Right now, here's the flop. Now, flop four for Deuce. As you can see, to win this pot, Timothy's going to have to hit running king. <laughs> Nothing else will do for him. They'd split it if it came a three and a five. And right there, you see the lobby pretty full here. Watch the action on the TVs out there. Here comes the turn. And the deuce comes off. That's going to do it for Timothy in this pot. Theo Jorgensen going to double up and take one step closer to capturing this event for the second time. Oh, he's got to be loving this. Theo Jorgen steals now in second place. Timothy, how much is that now? Just over 400. Timothy Adams on the short stack right now with just over 400,000. Mosin Sharania. Nice. Quickly fold. And now it's on Matt Salzburg. He's got an ace five. Likes to play a lot of hands. This time he's going to raise, makes it 45,000 to go. Philip is out, and now Theo Jorgensen. Well, Theo on the button, going to three bet it here with the king queen, makes it a hundred thousand to go. Everyone's out, but Matt, he's going to call this with his ace five. And I'm not fond of this play by Matt, calling re raises with an ace baby card. He's trying to write his own script here. Let's see if he gets lucky. Well, he might be writing the right script, Vince. He's flopped two aces. He's got the lead. He's going to check him. Well, Theo has the ace high straight draw, as you can see. And bets. Makes the continuation bet of 125. A quick call by Matt. Matt has the nut flush draw. Not repopped, and here's the turn. Seven of hearts. Well, Matt checks. Theo reaching for more chips. Just has a king high, but gonna fire a second shell. At least it looks like it. And indeed he does. This time he bets 275,000. There you see Matt fumbling with his chips a little bit, but he does make the call and makes it pretty quick. He certainly does to the disturbance of Theo. Eight of hearts on the river. Theo doesn't hit. Matt checks again. Well, Theo only has a king high, and look at this fence. Oh boy, look at those dangerous looking plaques coming out. Well, those are 100,000 each. Love the plaques. That's what distinguishes European events from American events. Besides the colored money of the euros that they use, but at the table, the plaques are the big guns. 600. 
Look at this, Vince. A three-barrel bluff by Theo Jorgensen. Oh, man. He is relentless. And now Matt Salzburg has to squirm in his seat here. Well, you can't blame him, Vince. Virtually all it can be is a bluff here. This would be the call of the week in Paris if Matt should make this call, but it's tough to do with a horrible kicker. This is the problem when you're calling re-raises with ace and baby cards. Even if an ace comes out, you're pretty much frozen in the pot. Boy, the two chip leaders. Well, there you see Theo's dad over there nervously watching his son. He'd really be nervous if he knew what Theo had. Oh, and the producer's gonna call it a wrap. He cannot compete. <laughs> he mucks his hand. Well, Theo shows the bluff. Beautifully done by Theo Jorgensen. And folks, there's not many players with just 1.5 million. They are playing fast here in Paris. Back to the felt we go. Philip Grissom. Wow, he looks down at a huge hand. Pair of ladies. It's the Queens. But he is raised to 40,000. Theo out, and now Fabian. Fabian's got King Jack, 30-year-old poker pro out of Germany, gotten this tournament through a satellite. That's right, Vince. Everybody else had to pony up 7,500 euros or about $10,000 US to play this event. I'm all in. Oh boy, he's gonna push all in with this. Well, he is going with it right here. Timothy Adams out, Mosin now can't play. Matt also going out, so back on the man with the queens. Well, Phillips quickly calls him with the two queens. That was quick. And Fabian's gonna have to have some help. Disturbingly quick. Awfully quick. If he's gonna stay alive in this tournament. Fabian just playing that Philip didn't have a big hand, that he was messing around. His assumption wrong as he sips his coffee. That's gotta disturb your stomach at this point. Well, if he didn't win this pot, Vince, he could go out to the Champs Elysees and be sipping coffee at a sidewalk cafe. King Jack up against Queens. Here we go with the first three. Flop is a safe three, nine, Jack. Well, Fabian got some help with the two Jacks, but... She mistook it. He's gonna have to catch a king or a Jack or two runners to win this pot. Would it be two diamonds or two cards to make a straight? Doesn't happen. That was a very upsetting card. Fabian Quas from Germany must catch a king or a Jack to stay alive in this tournament. Otherwise, he'll be heading down to the Champs-Élysées and wandering the streets. Can he get lucky, Fabian? I said, uh, fifth place, I go party. Here comes the river. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for Fabian Quas, 30-year-old pro from Germany. Got in this term by winning a $700 satellite. Out tonight in sixth place. That is right, a gentleman shakes hands. He picks up 75,000 euros here this evening. We are down to five players, and right now, Fabian He's going to talk about his loss. Um, I have 15 big blinds. I think it's pretty standard. Um, I didn't get to play much today, but throughout the whole tournament, I'm pretty happy with my player. The France, because it does have that James Bond ambience about it. It is fantastic. We're enjoying it here. As five-handed poker continues at the final table of the World Poker Tour, let's go to the felt. Action on our chip leader, Theo Jorgensen. And right now, Theo Jorgensen, our chip leader, picks up a pair of sevens, Mike, just like that. Yeah, I've got the two walking sticks. Going to raise it up to 45,000. Timothy Adams from Canada goes away. Mosin out. Uh, now we're around to Matt Salzburg, who looks down at the ace nine of diamonds, and he is going to make the call. Philip out. What the f going on with you? This is, Matt wants this revenge. On Theo, perhaps, from that last debacle with the aces. And here comes the flop, five, six, deuce, and he gets two diamonds. Well, we can see some action here. Chuck. Matt's flopped the nut flush draw. Theo has the over pair. Matt checks. As you can see, Theo is going to bet, and I'm guessing it's going to get check raised here. Theo bets 58,000. Matt with the four flush. Oh, yeah, he's going to put in a raise. Well, that's what you do with the nut flush draw. Goes to 150,000 back on the Dane. Now you have an overpair, but you're saying to yourself, would this guy have called a raise before the flop if he had junk cards like that on the flop? Not so sure. Well, he's gonna gamble, makes the call with the overpair. So if Theo does make the call. That's praying for a diamond. Can he get low? He gets a diamond. 
The diamond comes off. The board also pairs. Not a good card at all if you're sitting in Theo's seat. If you're sitting in Matt's seat and just made the nut flush, you're quite content. Oh, $175,000 content. That's what Matt's betting, and he's going to get the action. He gets the call by the Dane. Well, Theo quickly calling there. And not sure what, he just doesn't even want to look at the river card, <laughs> and I don't blame him. King of Diamonds comes off, so he didn't want to see a diamond for sure. Now there's four diamonds out there. Action is on Matt. And Matt picking up a couple plaques. That's 200,000 and bets. Yeah, he's not going to let up on the Dane. Makes a comfortable bet. Well, Theo's in that spot that Matt was in a minute ago. Basically, all it can beat is a bluff here. You know, one thought that you might have in your mind here, if you're sitting in Theo's seat, is, you know, I stole a pot off this guy and showed it to him. Is he going to do the same thing to me? That's the problem when you show a guy a bluff earlier, because now you're thinking maybe he's going to try to bluff you back here. And basically, with these two sevens and no diamond, that's all you can beat is a bluff. This looks like 200 out the window. On the other hand, I'm a curious guy. Oh, boy, he's going through torture now. Theo's actually starting to look a little like us, Hanson, with his mannerisms. A little bit. Now, there's Marshall. the curiosity call. He does make the call. That's a winner. Sort of a hero call, but it's not going to work here. Matt shows him another flush, and Theo says, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. There's Theo's dad, Gert. He looks like a bouncer from anywhere. Tough-looking guy. Don't want to get on his bad side, that's for sure. Theo, of course, takes his dad. Every time he makes a final table, he flies him in just for intimidation. <laughs> All right. Andy's to 3,000. Blinds are up to 12 and 24,000. Back to this hand motion with a quick fold. Matt also folding. And now it's around to Philip. Philip on the button now. Looks down at the Queen 10, and he's going to raise it. This is Philip's fourth WPT event. Now Theo goes out, but. On. Timothy Adams all in with Ace Queen. Oh, <laughs> Yep. That's not wasting your time, guys. 220 on top, uh, 270 to start. Oh. And the German is contemplating this. Well, Philip trying to contemplate the odds here. I think I gamble a little bit. Saying, is there a chance a guy could have two sevens or two eights or I could be in a race here? He's a big gambler, Philip. Played the one drop event. I want to kick you out anyways. Pardon? I want to kick you out anyways. Let's speed it up a little bit, huh? 220 to call, yeah? Looks like he's going to make this call and try to get lucky. And he's going to have to get very lucky because he's dominated, and he does make the call, and he's not going to like it when Timothy turns up his hand. Ace-Queen versus Queen-10. Good place for the Canadian Timothy Adams to double up. Timothy all smiles right now. And why wouldn't you be? You're short-stacked. You're all in with a dominating hand. And the flop is, yeah, you hit the ace just like that ace-9-3 on the flop. So Philip going to have to catch two runners to win this pot now. Doesn't happen as a deuce of spade comes off. Yeah, all right. Timothy Adams from Canada is going to double up here. Ten on the river. There we go. Timothy quite content to double up. He's traveling through Europe with a bunch of friends just to play poker. It's got to be exciting. I tried it, guys. Sorry. We tried. Tried hard. You look at Philippe's hair, Mike, right there. You know that must have been a mohawk about four months ago. <laughs> and now it's just a, a bad wig look. I don't know. Probably had it all purple and pink. Who knows? We've seen them here on the poker tour before. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with Philip's hair, Vince. You guys with perfect hair, you're always criticizing the rest of us oh. on our haircuts. Just a little observation, my friend. Just, just thinking outside of the box there. All right, back to this hand. We got a couple folds, and now Theo Jorgensen has a queen 10. This Dane loves the action. 52. Well, he just saw Philip get burned by a queen 10 in the last pot, but thinks maybe it'll work this time, so he raised it. Timothy out. And now Mosin with an ace 10. 
Well, he doesn't three bet it. He just makes the call here. He's from Chicago. He's been relatively quiet this final table, but I'm telling you, this guy has game, and he'll be a force to be reckoned with before this night is over. Mark it down. He's in a good place right now. He's 10 versus Queen 10, and the flop comes up 9, 8, 3. Well, no help to either player. It does give Theo a gut shot straight draw, so I guess it is a help for him. And it goes check, check. And now the seven of clubs comes off. And with that card, Mosin reaching for chips here because he has the open end straight draw. Gonna bet 54,000. Theo also has an open end straight draw. And he's gonna make the call. Theo not afraid to gamble. Great understanding of the game. Eight on the river, pairs the board. And also puts a flush possibility out there. Motion checks. Theo's eyes roving around. But doesn't have the facial antics that Gus He has. will. You know. He's warming up. You know, Gus. Uh, uh, look, 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 look. Uh, you know, Gus. Look, look. 120. He's got the heart of Gus. Here he is, gonna bluff here. Again, this time with just the queen high. Makes it 120,000 to go. Now, there's no facial expression now, though, because he doesn't want to give a tell away. Well, will Mosin make this call with just ace high? It'd be a tough one to make, but look at this, Vince. And you. He has done it. Got it. What a call by Mosin. He put the pieces of that puzzle together just perfectly. Beautifully done by the young guy that dropped out of law school. Now, you don't want to upset Gert. Mosin, take it easy. Oh, very intimidating man. Mosin. Started four days ago with. 228 players. We're now down to these five. The lone amateur at the table, Matt Salzberg from the U.S., our chip leader. A very exciting. Five players left. Winner's going to take home 400,000 euros, which is approximately 520,000 U.S. And here we go. Action on the Canadian, Timothy Adams. Looks down to the jack three. He folds it. Over to Mosin from Chicago. Very tough pro. Yep, he dropped out of law school to play poker. He's got ace nine of spades, and he will raise. Uh, wasn't a bad idea, Vince, because he made 1.8 million in 2012 by taking down an EPT event in Monte Carlo. That's Salzburg out, but look at this. The German here, Philip Grissom, he makes it 135,000 with just king four. Well, it just shows you how aggressive these young guys are, Vince. Three betting a guy with a king four offsuit. Theo Jorgensen out. What did you start the hand with? 900,000. Back around to Mosin. Well, Mosin's making the good call. The German doesn't like it. Here we go with a flop. Vince, I know you're like most Americans and most players that can't stand it, the way they deal the flop here one card at a time. Well, they do it differently here. In Paris, of course. It is 5-9 jack. Mosin hits the nines. Yeah, he's got middle pair with top kicker, but there you can see Philip. You three bet with nothing before the flop. You're going to make a continuation bet on the flop. And that's what Phillip's doing here. Yes, 130,000, Mike. Well, he does make it. And look at this. A quick, relaxing call, it looks like, by Mosin. And yes, that's the case. He's got second pair with top kicker. Calls him. And here comes a turn card. Seven of hearts comes off. Will Phillip continue to fire? That's the question. His problem is he just doesn't have that having many more chips to keep firing blanks. Yeah, he is going to slow down. He has checked it into Mosin. Mosin content to make the check as well. Here we go to the river. Well, the board pairs fives. Well, Philip knows there's no hand he can beat at this point. The question is, does he want to bluff at it and burn up more chips? The answer is no. Well, they both check again. Well, Motion going to take this pot down with the two nines, and Philip saying to himself, mm, not a good spot to bluff. So Motion from Chicago, Illinois, 27 years old. His 28th WPT event is going to take this pot down. Chalk one up to the Chicago Pro. My first final table at the WPT was in Foxwoods two years ago, and I came into the final table in third. And it was a pretty tough final table. It was Tom Marchese, Kevin Stammen, and Jeff Forrest. And the blinds were so high. 
Got into a pretty normal standard spot. Mullen. Both picking up mid pairs and moving all in like most guys would do. And I need a little bit of luck. I just got unlucky, didn't suck out, and I was pretty surprised I didn't get there. And then I ended up getting sixth place, so it's like really quick. I was very excited and I busted in an hour. Just like that, Mosin Tirania out in sixth place. So I'm gonna try to make sure I make it all the way through this time. Well, he is a talented young player. He actually dropped out of law school to play poker, Mike. Yeah, he majored in finance and economics at the University of Illinois. He was classmates there with two very tough players, Ravi Raghavan and Faraz Jaka, a former WPT Player of the Year. Okay, on this hand, a couple folds, three folds to be exact. Around to Theo Jorgensen, the Dane. Theo's got a pair of fives. Yep, got the speed limit here. 52. In the small blind, though, so certainly going to raise with this hand. He does it. Makes it 52,000 to go, and Timothy in the big blind. Looks like he's going to make the call with the Jack-10. Certainly is. Makes the call. Timothy Adams is a World Series of Poker bracelet winner in 2012. Talented young player. And here comes the flop. It's an ace, a 10, and a 7. So Timothy out in front right now with the two 10s. 60. 60. But Theo with the absolute continuation bet. This guy loves to plunge ahead, makes a bet. But Timothy not going anywhere with the 10s, makes the call. Theo doesn't like that. And now the board pair of sevens. What do you got back, 400? Theo asking his opponent how many chips he has left. You're sitting in Theo's seat right now, you're thinking, when this guy raised up, he had an ace in his hand. I don't see that happening. Maybe he's got queen jack. Maybe he's got eight, nine suited, something like that. Or my two fives are the best hand. Theo is a former casino dealer. He won this event in season nine. He has his father, Gert, here, standing by for luck. 130. And he is going to plunge ahead again. That's 130,000. I think he's betting not because it's a bluff fence, but because he thinks it possibly could be the best hand. Well, Timothy's going to fold it. Yeah, Timothy folds his two tens, and Theo taking down the pot by betting. Thank you. Well, that's what he does. Water, he doesn't have to have hands necessarily. He just keeps plunging ahead. What a talent we're seeing here. And Moosin from Chicago now, our chip leader with nearly 2.3 million in chips. Matt Salzberg in second place with 2.1 million. We've got two guys from the U.S., one from Canada, one from Denmark, and one from Germany still left in this competition. All right, Matt has folded. Fort. Philip the German also folding. Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, Theo's gonna get out, so we're gonna have a battle of the blinds here. Now, our short stack here tonight from Canada, Timothy. No, He's gonna go all in with his ace four clubs. I call. Oh, Mosin picked up a pair of jacks. Well, the snap call by Mosin with the two jacks. And Timothy Adams' tournament life is on the line here. Lovely. Must improve his hand, otherwise he'll be our fifth place finisher. Two buddies going after each other right now. Timothy Adams and Mosin Sharania. You think you're gonna win? Hmm? You think you're gonna win? I don't think anything. Well, these are two really good poker players, folks. I think there'll be five cards on the board. Right now, Mosin out in front with the jacks. Will they stand up? There's a five, and an ace just like that for Timothy. Beautifully done, and a three of diamonds. Four yeah. diamonds. Timothy mm. flops aces with a gut shot yeah. draw. Mosin knows he needs to catch a jack or two running diamonds to win this pot. That doesn't happen as the queen of spades comes on the turn, so we're down to the river. And Mosin, who was a nice favorite pre-flop, is now a huge underdog with one to go. Not putting it out there, though. He's got to hit a jack to knock out the Canadian, Timothy. Can he do it? Will a jack appear? No. A three of spades. So Timothy Adams going to take that pot, hitting his aces. Beautifully done. Plenty more. To Up with five players left. He's got over 2.1 million. Can the amateur shoot down these pros? OK, action on. Timothy Adams with a quick fold. And now Mosin with a king nine of spades. Makes it 50,000. Matt out. Look at this. Philip three betting here with an ace deuce. What a bold play by the German. 
You're right, ace, deuce of diamonds. Well, Theo's played a lot of poker with Philip and knows he three bets light on a number of occasions. And look at this. Theo Jorgensen, it looks like he is going to four bet here with just a queen high. Incredible. Look at this. He is going to push. What instincts. Mosin quickly getting out of the way. So with just Queen Jack, Theo has gone up to 270,000 into the German, who has just ace deuce. Wow, this is incredible. Oh, well, Benson, I don't know what you're thinking about here. You tried to take this pot down. The guy's four bet you. You're looking at an ace deuce. I'm all in. And he's going all in. Well, that's what he's thinking about. What an amazing raise. Folks, to move all in here. Oh, he's going to show it. With just an ace deuce there is incredible. What heart this guy's got. Nice move. I was ready for Paris Nightlife. And you can move all over the top of a guy that three bet with just an ace deuce for all your dough. That is playing the game. Vince, we are seeing some plays at this table tonight here in Paris. Oh, man, he just Very exciting stuff. Burnt the croissant right there. Nicely done, and they're showing it. You gotta love it. And this is some of the best poker we've seen all year long on the World Poker Tour. I'm not kidding. These guys are battling for pots. Beautifully done. Back to the next hand, Theo Jorgensen now with a queen seven of diamonds. And I said he moved all in on the guy that three bet. He was actually four bet. And he five bet all in with the ace deuce. Amazing play by Philip. Well, a lot of folds around to our Hollywood producer, Matt, who's finally picked up a nice pair of eights. He raises the 55,000 into the German, who geniusly played ace deuce last hand with all in. Now he's going to speculate with a jack five. Well, he likes to play a lot of hands. We can see that. All right, so eight's up against Jack Five. Here we go with the flop. And look at this, an eight on the flop, Mike. Three of a kind for Matt. He's flopped a set. And as you can see, Phillip's got top pair. Matt's going to come out and bet 52,000. Well, this could spell doom for the German here. Oh, Phillip better be very careful here. He's flopped top pair, but he is in dire straits. Phillip is going to make the call with top pair. What a position here for Matt Salzberg, who's flopped three of a kind. And now a nine comes off, so that puts a lot of straight possibilities out there. And Matt just, just wants to hide his face, a lot like Phil Helmuth does, as you can see. <laughs> it works for Phil. Well, he wouldn't mind check raising with three eights, but when the nine comes up, too many straight card possibilities where you just can't afford to check where your opponent could check behind you and get a free card to make a straight. Well, it's a mere 86,000, but will he chase away the German with top pair? Yes, he does. Lucky for that turn card. Just shows you the feel that Philip has for the game, Vance, and I'll tell you why. A minute ago, he five bet all in with an ace deuce. This time he had top pair and just mucked it right on both occasions. Just great stuff, and he's got to be feeling good about himself. Pop us up. You check a bad you raise. I just didn't love that turn because just put a few draws. Five talented players here left. Yeah, Matt Salzberg still out in front. Could the amateur possibly take down this WPT title? All right, the Andy's going up to 4,000. Lines 15 and 30,000. On to the next hand motion with an ace queen. Gonna make it 60,000, Matt Folds. Fold. And Philip also gonna fold. Around to Theo Jorgensen, who has a very solid pair of 10s. Yep, he's got Ren 10 10 here. And he is gonna re raise up to 135,000. Certainly should. Timothy the Canadian out. Start with a million. Mosin. Raise. He's going to raise. You're young, you're fearless. You four bet, that's what you do. 270,000, Mike. Now all of a sudden those two tens shrink up a little bit, Vince. When a guy four bets you and you've got two tens, you're fearful he's got jacks or queens, possibly kings or aces, and at worst, ace, king, ace, queen, where you'd be in a race for all your dough. I'm all in. Whoa. He's gone all in. Call. And a quick call by Mosin. That's bad news. Oh. At least I'm alive. So here we go, the classic race situation. Look. 
Oh, you said it first. I can't beat that. <laughs> Congrats. You just jinxed it back the other yeah. way. Oh, oh boy, both guys don't like being in this position. A coin flip for a lot of chips. Now there's dirt, Theo's dad. Let's just take the money back and play on. I'll do it. I'll definitely do it as well. These guys play so good, they don't want to race for all their dough. They'd rather play a little longer, but... Oh, Theo's gonna love to race with that flop. That's an amazing flop. He's flopped a full house. Oh, oh boy, that's it. Tense full, just like that. Well, it's not over. I like that flop. Motion can catch it. two runners to make a bigger full house, but he is up against it right now. Theo takes a big gulp. He's gotta love this, but not as much as Gert, Theo's dad. <laughs> I kinda like that flop. Who's loving this for his son? Because the turn, Mike. Well, it's a four hearts. That's gonna do it for Mosin in this spot. Theo Jorgensen gonna double up and take one step closer to capturing his second WPT title in the same event, something that's never been done before. They are playing at an amazing high level here in Paris. Yes, these guys are fighting for every pot. Yeah, they are flopping back and forth. We're seeing it all here tonight at the Aviation Club. American, the so-called amateur at the table, Matt Selzberg with 2.2 million. Yep. Tough pro Theo Jorgensen from Denmark looking to take down his second title in this event in second place right now. Back to the action. Yeah, motion with a quick fold, and now the American Chris. with ace five will make it 65,000 to go into Philip, who has picked up a strong hand pair of jacks. I mean, she's just calling here. I'm surprised at this call. And I say that because when you call, you're just pricing the guys in the blind to play the pot, meaning you got to meet multiple players to win. Not easy to do with two jacks, but the blinds go out. Flop comes 10, 5, 3. Matt, who raised pre-flop checks, was second pair and top kicker. 80. Well, the German's going to take control with the over pair. 80,000, a quick call by Matt Salzberg. The turn card. And the four spade comes up, puts a possible flush and a possible straight out there. Matt checks again. Philip has the over pair and a big spade. And the German has to feel pretty comfortable as he gets out the pink chips and the plaque. Yep, 175,000. Matt does not have a spade. He's got a little piece in it, the pair of fives. I'm still wowed. He just checked called on the flop here. And now he's getting away from this hand on the turn. That was an even bigger bluff than the ace deuce against me. That was a bigger bluff. Mm. 175. Yeah. Well, Philip taking this pot. His fourth ever WPT event. And here's the lobby right now at the Aviation Club. The crowd watching on TVs. Uh, the French player just staring at the monitor out there. Wondering, where's our French players at this table? There are none. Appreciate it. All right, action on Can the I Canadian have? Timothy Adams with a quick fold. Mm -hmm. Motion right. out as well. 70. Now Matt. Well, with another ace five, he's going to raise this time again with it. Hadn't fared too well with that ace five so far. Makes it 70,000. Philip out. And now the Dane. <laughs> Theo with a nothing hand, a queen six. Well, incredible, Vince. He is going to re-raise with a queen six offsuit here. Not folding it, not calling with it, three betting with it to take the lead. Now this Gert looks like a professional bouncer out of Denmark. That is Theo's dad, of course. His luck charm. You just wonder if Matt is getting superstitious about this ace five offsuit. Just not going to fool with it this time. Gives it up and chalk up another pot to the aggressiveness of Theo Jorgensen. Man, you gotta love the way this guy plays. I like my chances, but I like my chances two years ago a lot more. Two years was a lot softer table. I was a huge chip leader. Oh, hey. This is, to me, by far the toughest final table I've ever played. And if there is a soft spot, it has to be Matt. Matt is the only one I am assuming plays fairly tight never when it comes to three and four bets. <laughs> Phil is a guy that's going to pay me off. Phil is definitely a guy that 
doesn't believe I have it. Most and I would put in the same category as Phil. Those two I consider being more capable of making the five full best job. Timothy plays extremely well as well. He's definitely capable of making the moves. It's amazing to be back here to go for the same title. I haven't been back here since the last time, so it's like déjà vu all over again, and that feels great. And it would be fantastic to to take it down twice in a row here. Yes, baby. Well, man, that's how you win poker titles when you can assess your opponent's play as well as Theo does right there. Well, he does pretty well, but you know what? Don't underestimate the Hollywood writer. He's a writer. Maybe he's setting them up for a little twist, a surprise ending. He could be doing that. All right, back to the felt we go. Action on Timothy. He's going to fold it. Mosin, a 27-year-old out of Chicago, also folding. Matt goes away. And we're round to the blinds here. Phillips got Jack-9 offsuit. Just limps in, makes the call out of the small blind. Look at this. Theo Jorgensen has 6-4 of diamonds. He's going to raise it himself. Makes it 80,000. Just to spruce up the pot a little. You just don't want to lay down, do you? Yeah, once I limp in, that's why I limp in. Oh. Got it, huh? He's got well, position on the German. <laughs> he likes his chances with that. And look at this. He's four flush so far. Philip out in front with the two nines and the gut shot straight draw, but Theo has a flush draw. The German checks to Theo. 80. Well, Theo is going to bet this because he's just not going to put his opponent on big cards because he didn't raise before the flop. Plus, you have a four flush. So why not do the continuation bet? That's exactly what he does. 80,000. And he's going to get the call with the nines. These guys love to battle hard. Here we go with the turn. Not a diamond for Theo. It's an ace of clubs. Well, now an ace comes off. Philip checks again. Now Theo's scratching his head, but he knows his opponent didn't raise before the flop, so you're just not going to put him on aces, kings, and queens in that kind of hand. I think Theo is going to put him on exactly what he's got, like a pair of nines and a gut shot straight draw. Well, he's pushed in 150,000 to the German. This is a semi-bluff. Theo does have a flush draw. Mm, suspicious. Where he could catch a diamond and make the best hand, but he knows a six high is not going to win the pot. That hand was very well played and thought out. Eventually, I get a hand, too. By Theo Jorgensen mm -hmm. right there. I do get a hand <laughs> once in a while. I was going for the nine. <laughs> Just front with 2.4 million, trying to win his second WPT title in this event. That's a feat that's never been done before on the WPT. Back to the felt we go. The German, Philip, going to fold his hand. And now Theo Jorgensen, the chip leader with eight, seven of spades, going to raise to 65,000. Staying aggressive here. Timothy out. Mosa now with an ace five. Just not going to get involved with it. Yep, and now Matt Salzberg, the American with an ace, ten of clubs, will make the call, doesn't raise. So these two are back at it. And here's the flop. Jack eight and an ace for Matt Salzburg. Nicely done. And he's going to check it. Now well, Theo's got bottom pair, but he's going to make a continuation bet here of 85,000. And Matt just calls. Now Matt's in a good place right now because he didn't raise before the flop. So Theo probably doesn't put him on an ace. Here we go with the turn. Oh, deuce of clubs. Really nice card. For Matt here, as he now has an ace high flush draw to go along with his two aces, he checks again. That's the thing of beauty. It's probably for the check raise, but Theo checks right behind him and catches an oh. eight on the river to make three eights. Oh, what a horrible card. Now, Matt's going to check it. It's horrible if you're Matt. And Theo, of course. Well, he's now going to make a healthy bet here. 250,000. Mm. And I don't see how Matt's going to get away from this hand. His opponent checked on the turn. You're just not going to put him on aces or better there. Oh. 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 Call. Call. Well, he mumbles call. How many times does he have to say call before well, he gets slow rolls? Verbal declarations are binding. He doesn't have to put his chips in. He said call. But worse than that, he says call, and then Theo says, what? He gets slow roll. That's what we call that. Beautifully played by Theo, though. 
Oh, and Matt has to be smarting right there. He didn't ever take the lead in that hand, Vince. That's what cost him. Well, we have been seeing such great skill factor here in Paris. Theo just has Matt's number right now. As you see, Theo moving up in chip stack over 2.8. And back to this hand. It's going to be on Theo. Looks down to oh. the jack five. And he finally is going to eject a hand. Timothy also out. All in. And look at this. Motion is going all in with the king queen. He's on the short stack. 470. My call. But Salzburg right behind him with ace jack of hearts has yeah. made the call like he should. Philip out as well. The tough pro out of Chicago. He's going to have to have some help here to stay alive. Motion with the king queen. He is all in and will be out in fifth place if he doesn't get some help. And no help there. 10 4 deuce. Jack of clubs. Mosin, who dropped out of law school to no, play poker. Right. Jack of clubs. Been hugely successful, is in a lot of trouble right now. I can be honest and say I want you out. Miss, his case is going to be closed if he doesn't get some help here on the Turner River. Doesn't happen on the turn as the 10 comes off. Now the Hollywood producer wants to write the ending of this story. And then wants to write the ending for Mosin. And he will do so as a five of diamonds appears on the river. Mosin is knocked out. And Vince, the guy just had no luck in all-in situations. He had the best hand a couple times when his opponent was all-in against him. He lost those. Here, chip count. Seal Jorgensen from Denmark out in front with 2.7 million. Matt Salzberg, the amateur from the U.S., in second place with 2.1. That's right. Now the Andes are 5,000. Blinds are 20 and 40. To the felt we go. Our producer, Matt Salzberg, with a queen jack of diamonds. 85. And he knows that's a pretty strong hand, and he's going to raise it. Makes it 85,000 to go. Right behind him, Philip the German with just a 6-3. Well, he is a tough German Whoa. player. The three bets a lot of pots before the flop. Here he's doing it with just a 6-3. He certainly is. Makes it 200,000. And we've seen him do it before with the weak hand. And Theo came right over the top of him before, but it with a weak hand as well. He's thinking about doing that right here, but opts to give it up. Now it's on to Timothy with a 7-4. Mucks his hand back on Matt Salzburg. Well, certainly you got a hand you want to see a flop with. Good. And look at this. Matt's going to make the call like he should. Flop's coming up. And flop comes ace, ace, ten. Matt with the gut shot straight draw and the best hand checks. And now Philip of Germany slows down. Well, Vance, the only reason he's checking there in my mind is if he's going to raise on the turn in case Matt comes out betting. No way you're going to check 6-3 when you three bet before the flop. And Matt's going to check again. Well, Philip's going to get to betting now. He knows that the only way he can win the pot is by betting. So he's going to start here on the turn. And here he goes. 155,000. Now, that's not a big bet into a pot that's got 480,000 in it, but it's enough to get the job done. So, well done there by Philip. Three betting before the flop, betting on the turn there to take down that pot with just a 6 3. Yeah, nicely done by the German. He has two EPT titles from 2011. Well, Vince, if our viewers are learning anything tonight, they should be learning the value and the power of the three and four bet before the flop. There is. These guys doing it to perfection tonight. 85. Okay. On to the next hand, Matt Salzburg, this time with an ace jack and going to make it 85. But behind him, Philip going to call with queen 10. And now it's on the Dane. Theo Jorgensen, 40 years old. Former casino dealer, Mike. He has nothing but a queen six here, but you can see his mind is whirring away, contemplating the squeeze play, as we call it. That's where the first guy raises and the second guy calls. You know the second guy's not that strong, or he'd have raised himself. 225. Look at this. Theo is making the squeeze here with just a queen six, meaning he thinks if the first guy folds, the second guy is going to automatically fold. And Timothy Adams has to muck his deuces. Back around to Matt. Well, Matt has an ace jack, a pretty good hand, but he lays it down. 
Phillips going to go out as well. And once again, the aggressive betting by these guys takes down the pot. Well done by Theo Jorgensen there. Just one time. Theo looking back at his hands, the stalling, just appreciating the moment when you play that well. It's going to feel good. Well, he's got the chip lead, Vince, and he deserves to have it right now, no doubt about it. Theo Jorgensen playing terrific poker. Well, these guys are playing with absolute zip and pip. They are moving their chips. And right now, back on Matt, who's been taking a beating lately. He folds his hand. I bet he's just getting outplayed by everybody here so far at the table, at least lately. Yeah, but he's not paying off a lot, which is pretty smart of him so far. Let's see if he can turn things around. Philip is raised with his ace jack to 80,000. And Theo out, Timothy Adams now. You know, Timothy on the short stack here with four players left. I'm all, all in. And he's going all in here. Nose bleeding. And call. Philip has quickly called it. Well, Philip calls it, and Timothy knows that Philip could raise with a lot. Gotcha! Wider range of hands <laughs> and an ace jack are better. He's up against it right now. Needs some help to stay alive here. Here's the flop. It's a seven, a six. And a 10, all spades. And Timothy doesn't have a spade. Mm, not too good. Well, Philip has the ace of spade. Nothing changed, though. This means for Timothy to win the pot, <laughs> he's going to have to catch an eight or a nine. That's not a spade. Oh, Timothy Adams has been traveling Europe to play poker with his buddies. And right now, he needs luck. Otherwise, he's gone. Here comes the turn card seven. Well, he could split the pot. If the board pairs twice, it does once on the turn as the seven comes off. If a 10 or a six comes off, they would split this pot. Can Timothy suck out here at the Aviation Club? We will see. Here it comes. Nope. Five of clubs on the river. So the 26-year-old Canadian pro Timothy Adams out tonight in fourth place. That is right. Going to take home 125,000 euros. That's about 162,000 in U.S. dollars. Matt Salzberg from the U.S., in third place right now with 1.9. The buy-in to this event was 7,500 euros, which is just around $10,000. And he's a 5,000. Blinds are 20 and 40,000. Look at this. Matt Salzberg picks up the ladies. Well, he's made it 80,000 a go. Well, Matt has held the best hands at this final table, but he's got outplayed oh. a number of times a night by these two guys specifically. The German Philip is out, and now Theo Jorgensen, the Dane, is going to speculate with a, just a 3-5. Let's see if 3-5 is lucky for him. An ace on the flop, a four, and a seven. Well, so Theo has flopped a two-way straight draw. A deuce or a six gives him a straight. He checks. Matt going to make a continuation bet here with the two queens. And Theo most likely will check-raise this. 185. And that's exactly what he's doing. He is check-raising, and all of a sudden, two queens have shrunk up, Vince. He's made it 185 to go. Now, Matt has been pushed around by Theo. And at some point, you're saying, wait a second, if this guy had an ace, wouldn't he have re-raised me? Most likely he would. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm calling. Well, Vince, he's not only pushed around. Every time he gets pushed around, these guys have been showing the bluffs to make it worse. So that could come back to haunt him here. As you see, Matt getting stubborn with the Queens, not giving him up. Calls a $250,000 bet on the turn. Well, that's good instincts by him. And an eight on the river does not help Theo. He just doesn't want those guys to bluff him again and then show him the bluff. Let's see if Theo fires three shells. With absolute zip and pip. Nope. He just waves a white flag. He cannot win checking this pot. It goes check, check. Five high. Matt Salzberg's queens are going to win this pot. And you just wonder, had Theo not shown those earlier bluffs, perhaps Matt would have laid the queens down there. That's nice Matt Salzberg taking the pot. Tired of getting pushed around. He's playing well here tonight. Oh, you got that right, Ben. Take a look at the WPT stack tracker. Matt started this final table as the chip leader, lost the lead to Theo Jorgensen. Now it's Theo who has taken a dive, and Matt is back in the lead. That's right, and Philip Grissom hanging out in third, hoping slow and steady will win the race. Winner tonight will take home 400,000 euros and get a coveted entry into the WPT World Championship at the end of the season. We have a prize pool of over 2 million U.S. currency. Tremendous prize money up for grabs. Okay, on to the next hand. Matt Salzberg, he has a solid pair of 10s. Another big hand for Matt. He is going to raise 95,000 to go. Well, the German Philip with just king six has raised this. Makes it 240 to go. Theo out, and there's Renee. 
Matt's girlfriend, who's a fine poker player herself. And now Matt. 550. Oh, Matt, he's going to push. He says, if you can beat me, you can beat me. I have tens. He makes it 550 to go into the German Philip, and Philip has to release his hand. Matt coming back over the top of these guys because oh, he's getting good. three bet a lot. I've been part of different games over the years in LA. And look how close the chip count is now. Everybody with over 2.1 million and less than 2.5. As we continue three-handed action here right off the Champs-Élysées, and action goes to Theo Jorgensen, who has a pair of fives. He's going to make it 90,000 to go. Raise. Well, Matt is going to raise it with two sixes. 210. 210,000. So he is three betted up to 210,000. Philip goes out and very tough now to play these small pairs. The just hasn't seen Matt three bet without a hand. So, you know, maybe he's got ace king, maybe he's got a bigger pair. But Theo wants to see a flop where he might flop a set and bust this guy. All right, he's made the call with the fives. Matt with sixes. Here's the flop. Jack four seven. Two hearts out there. Matt first to act. Two thirty. He's reaching for chips. Two hundred and thirty thousand. Makes the continuation bet. And a quick call by Theo. Theo just put him on ace king or ace queen here. Thinks his two fives might be the best hand. Makes the call. To the turn we go. Well, an eight comes off. Now, this gives both players a straight draw. Well, Matt is not slowing down, Vince. 3.30. He got called on the flop, but he's firing again on the turn here. Yes, he's betting 330,000. Now, both players have a straight draw, ironically. They need the other guy's card to make their straight. But I just think it's tough for Theo to keep going here as Matt keeps firing. The producer says, you lose, get off my set. Or something like that. Let's take a little look at the rabbit cam. Oh, look, a six comes off. That would have given Matt three sixes, but would have made Theo a straight. And Vince, that would have been the end of Matt had Theo gone ahead and played that hand out. So aggressiveness pays off for Matt Salzburg. Now, Vince, it's just obvious to me he's changed his game plan. He's not going to get pushed around like a mop anymore, like he was earlier at this final table by these guys. He's got down to three-handed. He's going for the W. He's going for the win. He said, if I go broke, I go broke. But you're not pushing me around anymore. Well, he's made the adjustment. Shows that he's a fine player, a top-notch player. And right now, he folds an ace-6. And it's on the German, who has an ace-9, who is going to raise. No, nope, just call, surprisingly. Well, limps in in the small blind with ace-high. Matt Folder and Ace on the button. Those are two things you don't see much. And Theo Jorgensen looks down at a queen four. Theo's got position on Philip, but no, he's going to check as well. well. The last time Philip Linton in this spot, we saw Theo raise the pot with a six four and keep betting it and won that pot. Well, the flop comes up eight, nine, four. They both have a piece of that. And yeah, Phillips got top pair with top kicker. He's going to bet 40,000, the minimum bet. Yeah, Theo's caught the fours, and he makes a quick call with it. Here goes the turn. Oh, and now the board oh, pairs ho, ho. fours. Ooh, la, la. Well, this could spell big trouble for Philip here. What a card for Theo. Getting in cheap, hitting a set. Life is good. And Philip Betton, right into you. Yep, bet's 125,000. But notice, Theo just calls here, does not raise with a 3 4, trying to camouflage the strength of his hand. Uh, milk the Holstein. Let's see if it pays off or backfires. No, it's going to pay off. He hits a queen, fills him up, didn't need it, but nice to have. Well, it sure is, just in case your opponent's got a 10 jack where he made a straight here. You've now got a full house, and you are doing the Watutsi and your opponent is reaching for chips, and it looks like a pretty amount of chips, and it is 400,000 is the bet here. Now, the pot's only got 425,000 in it, so this is a very big bet by Philip, in my opinion. Now look at Gert. That is Theo's dad. 
That's one tough looking dude. I have to keep saying it. One mil. Well, one million, says Theo here with his full house. $600,000 raise by Theo. Philip knows Theo has a lot of heart. But the truth of the matter is, all he can beat now in this situation, the way this hand was played, would be if Theo had a 6 7 or a 7 10 in his hand. There's nothing else he can beat than those two hands. I believe you. If I was Philip here and I knew Gert was standing behind me like that, I'd say, get this guy out of here, okay? You're making me a little nervous. Oh, boy. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't be saying too much to Gert. He lurks closer and closer to you. It's just, it's just disturbing. What do you think? Tough looking guy. Theo, Theo, you got hard. So it's a little tougher. Right, what's disturbing right now <laughs> is what should Philip do here in this spot? He knows Theo very capable of bluffing in this situation. Yeah. All right, take it. Well, that'd be a nice lay down. And he does the right thing, gets away from it. Nice. Uh, is that Philip or Borat? I don't know, but nevertheless, he has folded the hand. Theo Jorgensen taking down a nice pot. I think it started off when I hit the main event in the World Series of Europe, and my dad flew in, and he had to work the next day. He said, well, if my son makes it, I'm not going to be able to go to work. And I get into a huge hand where one of the guys is actually considering laying down kings. And he calls, and I got five big blinds left. And then I can just feel this tap coming on my shoulder after I lose this hand. And it's my dad. Leans in and says, I can just make the flight if I leave now. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Oh, you got to love that story. Yep. Totally Mitch, you're going to stick around. If he's winning, <laughs> if he's losing, you might as well catch the plane. The family that plays poker together stays together. Oh, boy. There is proof of it right here. That's Salzburg from the U.S. in second with nearly 2.5. And on the short stack right now is Philip Grissom from Germany. All right. The American Matt first to play. He's got ace nine of hearts. And everybody going to raise on the button with this hand in a three-handed poker game, and that includes Matt. He makes it 110,000 to go. Philip with a nothing hand folds. And now Theo the Dane. He's a defender like his buddy Gus Hansen from Denmark, meaning they don't like to give up pots. They like to fight for everything. And when I say fight, I'm talking about fight, as you can see here, a three bet by Theo with just a queen deuce. Made it 250 to go. Matt's going to call, though, of course. And we got another battle. Here's the flop a king, a four of hearts, and a nine. The nine good for Matt. Yep, he's got middle pair with top kicker. Theo, of course, going to make the continuation bet because he has nothing. 300000 the bet. And Matt going to make the call. Smooth call by Matt Salzberg. And here we go to the turn. Oh, the five of hearts comes off. This gives both players a flush draw. As the cards lie, the only way Theo can win the pot Three, is to catch six. a queen. Theo Jorgensen, the Dane, our chip leader at this point. Well, he won this event a couple years ago. 750. Trying to win it for a second time, and he's bet 750,000 here. Six. With the queen six. deuce. Wow. What a moment for Matt Salzberg right now. You're four flush with the nuts if a flush should come out there. You got the pair of nines. There's Renee. His girlfriend's sweating him. At this point, Matt's only got about 1.7 million in chips. It's gonna cost him 750,000 to call this one, so he'll have about a million left if he makes this call. I can't see anybody folding this hand, and what a pot it would be if he should go all in. Theo might just call him with a four flush. Time. Theo called the clock on him, Vince. Now, in my mind, that is a tell Nobody that has a real strong hand is going to call the clock on their never, opponent. Never, And let's see if Matt can pick up on that. Because if you have a strong hand and you want the call, you want to give the guy time. Wow. And Matt does pick up on it nice. We're going to the river. He does make the call. It's going to be interesting to see what happens if a heart doesn't come off here, how this hand is going to be played from here out. Down to the river. Will a flush come out? We will see. No, but it's a ten of diamonds. So Theo has nothing. How much do you got left? A little over a million. 
Yeah, he said a little over a million, and he said it confidently. So Theo is going to check and just surrender. Queen high. He's given yes. up this pot. Queen high. <laughs> Matt going to take this pot down with the two nines, and there you see his girlfriend, Renee. She can't believe it. And that is the biggest poker moment of Matt Salzberg's life. What a call. Very solid. The hand holds up. What a pot. And that is turning things around now for the Hollywood producer. 2.6 million in that pot. Holy cow. He can't believe it himself. And Theo. That's a not. Vince, he's won his chip tonight by being aggressive, by stealing pots. You just wonder about the three bet there with the queen deuce, but more so, why would the guy call a clock on his opponent yeah. if he had a real big hand? He would never do that. That's a massive mistake and a massive tell. The crowd is stunned, as wow. we are. And now Matt Salzberg is our chip leader. And right now, Theo Jorgensen he is steaming like a cheap economy car. Here he's got king nine of diamonds on the button. You're going to raise with this hand. And he does so. Makes it 120,000 to go. Matt gets out and stacks up his chips. He's got to be feeling good. Gets out of the way. Now, Philip has got a real hand, though. Pair of jacks. I'm all in. And he's going to go all, all in. I would most likely call here. I can't see myself getting out of that one. Five, six hundred. Not for this amount. Yeah, shove it in there first. Theo is still going to have a couple million left, That's even if he plays this pot and loses it. So, so it's 500 more. I don't see him giving this king nine up here. How am I doing in that spot? And he's going to dump him off. He's calling. There. Yep, he has made the call. Philip has the best hand with the two jacks. He must win this pot to stay alive in this tournament. And right now, Theo in a tailspin. Yeah, cheers. I'm running out. I ran out <laughs> here. Oh, yeah. It's you can get the one. Fast. Bottoms up. Mm. <laughs> and let's see who will get lucky here. <sighs> the German. Let's see a cowboy. Has to have his jacks hold up. Jack, king. Already Theo calling for the cowboy. That's the king. That's what he's probably going to need to win this pot. That's a lot of diamonds come out there. I want some diamonds. There's Loads of diamonds. I got to feel it. Oh, a to king right in the door. Oh, yeah. And hey, Philip sort of going. waves goodbye. What a first cut. He knows that card spells doom for him. <laughs> All right. It's not over. He can catch a jack or two runners to make it straight. But as you can see, he is not confident that it's going to come. And here comes the turn. Will it be a jack? No, with the four spades. So we are down to the river. Philip must catch a jack to win the pot. On goes the jacket. One too much. Fearful there will be no jack. He's got a two-outer. Crazy things happen on the WPT. Will it be here tonight in Paris? Let's go to the river. Nope. It's a ten of hearts. Honestly, yeah. And we have lost another player in Paris. Well, Vance, poker is a strange game. Twice we saw Philip Grissom all in with the worst hand. He won those pots. Now he's all in with the best hand, and he gets knocked out of the tournament. He's broke out in third. Folks, it's colored money here in Europe, but it spins very well, I must say. These two guys are fighting out for the 400,000 euro first place prize as well as that coveted entry into the WPT World Championship, Damn. and most importantly, to get your name engraved on the WPT Champions Cup. And there's the culmination of all their money. It gets stacked right there on the table. It's just a thing of beauty, Mike. Heads of action here at the Grand Prix de Paris is about to get underway between Theo Jorgensen and Matt Salzberg. During the break, we had a chance to speak with both players. He's really, really tough. He, he's, he's had a lot of swings with his stacks, and he's a very tough player, so, you know, hopefully it'll be a, a fun battle. I feel like I'm getting bluffed out in so many three or four bets <laughs> all the time, and uh, every single opponent here has been playing extremely well. Well, I would agree with you, but you've been doing your share of bluffing as well. But the truth is, as you know, the symbol of a great poker player is a guy that'll fight for pots. These guys tonight have been fighting for pots all night long, including you, Theo. Best of luck in your quest to do something that nobody's done in poker history. Win the same event twice on the World Poker Tour. Good luck. Thank you, Mike. Mike, this is very special. Well, we've never seen it before in the history of the World Poker Tour. Don't trust. 
Oh! Whoa! Whoa! There it is, folks. Ooh la la. You know, I wonder if it's symbolic. That's the first on the World Poker Tour, and we could have a first in the history of the World Poker Tour if Theo Jurgensen wins this tournament. He'll be the first guy to win the same event twice in the 11-year history of the World Poker Tour. Look at this. Good sports. They cheer each other. Why not cheer, Vince? They're taking home over $800,000 between them. Life is good here in Paris for these guys. All right, about to get started. The heads up battle. And right now you see that Matt Salzberg is the chip leader with 3.5, Theo with 3.3. Very close in chip count starting out this heads up battle. Two good stories. The lone amateur at the table, the Hollywood producer, Matt Salzberg, can he win? Or can Theo Jorgensen make folk or history? by capturing a second title in this event. Look at this hand by Theo. He has ace-king, big slick of diamonds. That with ace-five is raised. 275. He's coming back over the top. He's betting 275. In case Matt gets too aggressive here with this ace-high, he could be in big trouble. Matt's called it. Well, he has made the call. Going to see a flop here. Flop is a 10, a queen, and an eight. Well, those are scary cards if you're sitting in Theo's seat. The guy didn't re-raise you, yet he called the raise. So many times you put him on those middling type of cards. Well, Theo has checked. Matt's going to check as well. Going to the turn. Well, Theo happy to hear that. Now a three comes off. Helping neither player. And three. Theo is going to check again. Oh, I don't blame him. And Matt checks right behind him. Surprised at that. He could have taken advantage of that, and it could backfire because an ace on the river. They both have aces. Theo, of course, with a huge kicker. 300. Oh. Well, Theo going to bet 300,000. A snap call by Matt because he knows that ace is the only card he would pay 300,000 off with in this hand. He checked it on the flop on the turn. The only way he could lose money is if an ace came up. It did. It cost him. Well, you know, Matt, I think with two checks. On the, nice river. On the flop and then on the turn, I think you got to take advantage of that. You're in position. Make a bet. Try to get your man out. Perhaps he wouldn't have gone out anyhow, but that one turned around quickly. Not good for Matt right there. Now the blinds are going up to 40 and 80,000, and Matt is first to act. Let's take a peek at his cards. Nice. He's got king nine. 75. Yeah, he's going to raise it here, 175,000. Deal with the king seven, just calls. Might be the first time he had in three bet tonight. Stop the presses. King nine versus king seven, and Theo gets a piece of that with sevens. Uh, a four flush there for Matt though with the king of clubs. Theo has checked into Matt. Will Matt make the continuation bet? Well, I'm sure he will with the four clubs. One thirty-five. And indeed he does. One hundred thirty-five thousand. Very good. He makes the bet. Well, Theo has the middle pair. But it's the kind of hand you're frozen on, Vince. You can never take the lead with this hand. You can never raise with it. Doesn't matter what comes up. You're just going to be checking and calling. Four of diamonds. 200. And quickly a $200,000 bet here by Matt. Well, Matt's maybe learning a lesson from the last hand. You got to bet sometimes. Don't let these guys get in and I'll draw you. Well, part of the problem for Theo is if he calls this 200, is he going to be faced with another big bet to call on the river? Well, we're going to find out because he does make the call here. Yes, the Dane just does not care. He calls, and we're down to the river. Well, an eight comes up. Well, Theo checks again. Will Matt fire yet another shell? 350? Yes, he does. 350,000. Very solid bet. Well, it's not that big a bet into a pot that's got over a million in it, but still, he is trying to win the pot. Theo just has the sevens. I'm all in. Wow. What the heck? He goes all in. Well, obviously, Matt can't call him, but I'm a little puzzled by that all-in bet. I, I agree. I mean, the only way you can make that all-in bet, in my mind, is if you think your opponent has a queen in his hand and will lay it with that last spot. You can see Theo Jorgensen well out in front right now. He's got 5.9 million. Matt was just 865,000. Theo now thinking about becoming a two-time champion in this event, making poker history. Blinds are 50 and 100. 
Theo's got an attractive ace five of diamonds. Nice call. And all in by Theo. And Matt Salzberg has called it with ace four. Theo is out in front with the ace five of diamonds up against the ace four. But don't let that fool you, folks. Most of the time, when players have hands like this, it's going to be a split pot. Yeah, most of the time. It looks like a push. Maybe. Maybe spike a four. <laughs> the producer would love to hit a four. Let's see what happens. Oh, he got the four. Yes. Hooray for Hollywood. Matt Salzberg has taken the lead. Oh, Theo is going to have to catch a five to win this pot. Seven. And now he can win with a six as well as a five. Uh oh. That would give him a straight. <laughs> Down to the river we go, Mike. So Theo looking for a five or a six to become our champion. Can he catch it? Otherwise, the producer will double up. Oh. Nope, the three comes off. So finally, the poker guy's smiling down on Matt Salzberg as he outdraws his opponent to double up to stay alive. That is a big comeback for him. He has got a nice chip lead and is a favorite to do just that. Yes, but Matt Salzberg just doubled up. Back in contention. Now look at the used cards. Ace, queen. He's got the big hand. He's got the button, and he will raise to 250 to go. But right behind him, Matt has it, ace 10. Well, this could be doom for Matt right here. All in. I call. All in and call, just like that. Cooler. And again, Theo has him dominated. Ace queen versus ace 10. Ooh. He is loving it. Another cool, he just had the ace five versus ace four. That didn't work out for him. He gets to try it one more time. If he's successful, he'll be our champion. Let's see. A queen out there. Two tens. Ten of hearts. Let's just see a queen. Well, and just keep it low. Ten. I don't care. Ten as long as you don't hit the ten. Theo Jorgensen, the 40-year-old from Denmark, with a huge opportunity <laughs> to take a title down and become a champion a here on the WPT. Game. And the second time he ever won this event. Nobody's done that in the history of the tour. Can he do it? Whoa. All diamonds oh, on the flop. One. As nine, you can nine, see, nine, Matt nine, has nine, the ace nine, of diamonds. Nine, Theo nine, can't nine, believe nine, it. It's never easy, oh, Matt. Boy. That is making Theo punchy right there. Oh, it's like the air went out of his balloon. He just can't believe it. One more diamond. Diamonds are forever. <laughs> Let's go. Matt senses hope. Theo back down, deflated. He's got to sweat two more cards. Well, he's still got the best hand with the ace queen. And here is the turn. Whew. Nine of hearts has come off. We are down to the river. If Theo Jorgensen can dodge a diamond or a 10, we are going to see a little poker history made. Come we certainly will. The black. championship at stake with the last card coming up. Just keep it black. Everybody at the Aviation Club holding their breath. Let's go to it, Mike. Here's the river card. It's a diamond. Yes. Unbelievable. Matt has doubled up again. Really, really tough luck for Theo Jorgensen. Oh, this is astounding. <laughs> Don't spew. Theo Jorgensen, absolutely punchy from that. Well, Vince, as a poker player, you got to feel the pain for Theo Jorgensen. Oh. Had this tournament won twice when he had his opponent dominated both times. Got sucked out on in both hands, and his opponent doubled up twice, and now has the chip lead in the heads-up battle. Uh, I think Gert just jumped out a window, if I'm not mistaken. All right, back to the next hand we go. 320. Oh, boy. It's tilt time now for Theo. He raises to 320,000 with the 10 3 offsuit. And Matt can't wait to get his money in. Oh, well, Matt's got an attractive queen jack. No, Gert is still here. And the flop comes up a queen. Beautiful there for Matt Salzberg. And a 10 there for Theo. Trouble. Yeah, this could spell doom for Theo Jorgensen right here. He's flopped second pair. Unfortunately for him, Matt has flopped top pair. Well, incredibly, Matt checked and Theo checked the 10s right behind him. Now an 8 comes off. So Matt has top pair and a straight draw now, and he is going to bet a couple hundred thousand. Oh, boy. Vince, I don't know how you get away from 10s here in this spot. But maybe you do. Nope, he's going to call. We are going to the river. 
And a nonchalant four comes off. No help for either player. Matt's out in front, wow. but he's going to check it. Can't believe he checked Queens there. And Vince, right now, Theo's got to think he's got the best hand with the two tens. 400. Oh. I got a 10. I have a queen. That's a value bet. 400,000. He's in shock. This guy turns up two queens here. Well, that is interesting. All that checking before by Matt playing very soft actually pays off here. I thought I was value betting there. <laughs> because he suckered his opponent into thinking that he was in front, makes the value bet, and then a hefty 400,000 is grabbed by Matt Salzberg. Nicely done. Well, as Theo said there, he thought he was making a value bet there, and I would have thought the same thing had I been him, the way that hand was played. Lines are now 80 and 160 with a $20,000. Annie Theo has a queen 10. Well, he doesn't have that many chips, so he takes a conservative route now and just calls on the button. Oh, look at this. Two queens for Matt. Wow. Race. The guy has just held the most cards at this table, no doubt about it. 275 more. And he is going to raise, makes it 435 to go. Theo, he's a very creative, punishing player. If he gets out of line here, he would really regret it. I'm all in. I call. Oh boy, he's done it. And Matt makes the quick call, of course. Queens. Yeah. That's, I'm in such oh. a bad shape. Well, he just can't believe his opponent's got the one hand he didn't want to see, the two queens. And he's saying, what happened here? I just can't believe my luck can be this bad. I had the guy dominated two ends in a row where I was going to win the tournament, ace five versus ace four, ace queen versus ace 10. And now all of a sudden, when I get all in, the guy's got two queens and I got queen high. Absolute debacle there for Theo Jorgensen from Denmark. Everything turning around. And right now, he's in a huge bit of trouble. Matt Salzburg can taste it. He would love to get this victory. Four, four, four. <laughs> well, Vince, he's the heavy favorite to do it right now, no doubt about it. I didn't know what to cheer. And Theo just can't believe how things have turned around here. And here comes the flop. It's a three. It's a five. It's an uneventful deuce. That's a beautiful flop for Matt Salzburg. Well, no doubt about it. For Theo to win this pot, he's got to catch two running tens. Everyone in the room absolutely stunned. Eight of diamonds. He could split the pot if two cards do a straight come up, but that's all. Theo's got to catch runner, runner. A couple cards away. Oh. Well, four comes off. This gives Theo a hope that he can get a chopped pot out of this. Of the board. <laughs> he still has six outs he can get a split pot with. An ace or a six. It's not a club. And Theo Jorgensen will still be alive in this tournament. Otherwise, it's tapioca pudding. The ladies have been good to me all tournament. Theo almost deserves it at this point to get the split. Oh, will Matt become a champion? Here it comes. It's a seven of spades. It's over. Yeah. Well, Matt Salzberg has done it. Holy crap. Very good. I got Congrats. lucky, man. No problem. You played great. The oh, producer, God. writer of Weed 